ever had any obsessions? Obsessions? I mean, ideas that drive you to do something. And, uh, no matter how hard you try to forget them, you can't. Well, yeah, I guess so. I remember when I was a kid, I used to have spells where I was afraid to touch a knife for fear I'd cut my throat. Ever feel that way now? What measures are being taken to make us psychologically more fit? beyond her age, is beginning, like her brother, to reject parental discipline. Do you realize what time it is? Oh, Mother, don't be such an old funny daddy. A ten years downward trend of juvenile delinquency has been completely and startlingly reversed. solve a problem which goes straight to the home. The solution isn't in arresting these young kids. It's up to the parents to give them a home life which will be free from the temptation to delinquency. Upon the home environment in which he grows up depends the character of every individual. Whether his family is rich or poor, a child needs above all affection that can be depended upon to give him a sense of security, of being wanted in the family group. Even more important than agencies of correction are those whose aim is to help the child before he gets into trouble. But most essential of all is the task of providing a constructive outlet for the energies of the young. These children, they're not really bad, most of them. Just products of rough neighborhoods and bad family situations. They get into trouble, and then the burden is on the whole community. And it is from the example of his parents that he acquires the moral and ethical standards by which his adult life will be governed. It is when the family fails to meet these fundamental emotional needs of the child 
that society must take up the responsibility. But when the courts are obliged to intervene, young offenders must be given guidance and offered wholesome outlets for their impulses if they are to return to a useful place in the community. Now, while you're on probation, I want you to remember that what the court is here for is to help you. Goodbye.